Welcome back to Webwise. In this video, we're going to be talking about 10 amazing Tailwind CSS tricks that you need to know. These tricks will help you streamline your web development workflow and create stunning designs. So, let's dive in. Fine-tune gradient color stop positions. With Tailwind CSS, you can easily create gradients using the BG Gradient Utility class. But did you know that you can also fine-tune the color stop positions? By using the from, via, and to classes, you can specify the exact color stop positions you want for your gradient. For example, you can use the from 10% via 30% to 90% classes to create a gradient that starts at 10 goes through 30 and ends at 90%. Line clamp out of the box. Do you ever need to truncate text to fit within a certain space? With Tailwind CSS, you can use the line clamp utility class to specify the number of lines you want to display, and the text will automatically be truncated with an ellipsis. This is a great way to keep your layout looking clean and consistent, especially if you're dealing with longer blocks of text. New line height shorthand for font size utilities. With the latest version of Tailwind CSS, you can now use a shorthand syntax for specifying line heights for your font size utilities. This makes it even easier to create consistent topography throughout your design. For example, you can use the text LG7 class to set the leading 7 for a specific font size utility. CSS variables without the var. In previous versions of Tailwind CSS, you had to use the var function to access a CSS variable as an arbitrary value. But with the latest update, you can now use the CSS variable name directly as an arbitrary value without the need for the var function. This makes it even easier to work with CSS variables in your code. New List Style Image Utilities With Tailwind CSS, you can now easily customize the bullets or icons used for your unordered or ordered list by using the List Image URL class. For example, you can use the List Image URL caret.png class to set a custom image as your list bullet. New Hyphens Utilities with Tailwind CSS, you can now control how words are hyphenated with the new hyphens utility classes. This is particularly useful if you're working with languages that require hyphenation, or if you want to control how words break in your design. For example, you can use the hyphens auto class to automatically hyphenate words in your design. ARIA Attribute Variants Tailwind CSS now provides ARIA Attribute Variants for accessibility. You can now conditionally style things based on ARIA attributes with the new ARIA variants. This is particularly useful if you're working with web applications that require accessibility features, as you can now style your elements based on their ARIA roles and attributes. Data Attribute Variants With Tailwind CSS, you can now use data attribute variants to target elements with specific data attributes using the new data variants. This is particularly useful if you're working with dynamic data that requires different styling based on its content. For example, you can use the data size class to style elements with a data size attribute. Max width and dynamic breakpoints. Tailwind CSS provides a new max variant that lets you apply max width media queries based on your configured breakpoints. Along with this, Tailwind v332 added support for arbitrary values and a new min variant that only accepts arbitrary values, so you can do things like this. Grid calls with arbitrary values. With Tailwind CSS, you can now use the grid calls and utility class to create grids with any number of columns, but in some cases it is convenient to use square brackets to generate a property on the fly using any arbitrary value. For example, you can define three columns like this. And there you have it. 10 amazing Tailwind CSS tricks that you need to know. I hope you found this video helpful, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more web development tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.